voicings uh, in addition to the ones that we learned the basic, you know, turn minor two fives. So D flat, C minor six. Instead of just going, which is fine, a little bit of a punch. hitting A minor 7, and then a diminish, three notes, and then we're on G minor, instead of doing a, we're going to, So what I'm doing there, um, I'm using some voice leading, starting with that A13, then down to a D flat nine. So it's a great voice leading. Part, second section um, but instead of doing that here's another punch it's B B7 three notes B flat and then B minor punch on A flat seven. That's an A seven with a flat five. And then part of an A flat 13 is using three notes. suspend here and then B flat 13 it's hit the bass note but a possible chromatic voice lead is really neat here so flat, E minor, nine. Beautiful little choral almost sort of sound. It's really nice. Another voicing for a C minor nine sort of sound, six nine. Looks like an F13, but the root is a C. So let's see, so far. Okay, so the second half, 
there's another punch. I really love this one. Um, it's A flat seven, G, and then to A minor seven flat five. And this is substituting for the one, if you'll listen. Same sound. So instead of going, he's going. Really like that one. You can do it anywhere in the beginning. So we're on the second half. And then here's a melodic idea you can throw in. It's off of C minor. Almost sounds like a Tennessee Waltz. And we're heading to G minor, putting in an A flat above it. Instead of doing this, doing this. And punch. It's a nice little substitution. And what I'm doing there, uh, the chords are the B minor. I'm the melody. And then right here, kind of subbing out. That's uh, a nice little dissonant. And then we're at F minor. to the D minor, D flat nine. And here's a nice little phrase for that. Instead of going, which is nice. Three notes. And then six string, seventh fret. Skip the fifth, four string, sixth fret. Pinky on the third string, slide it back. Okay, the last little tag, um, let's see. I'm doing C minor, and then I'm punching the F chord with the seventh and the bass, and then going to an F, and then I'm setting it up for the last little... The ending, what I do there, uh, bar, E, 
And my favorite chord in the whole thing is this E flat. Got this from Lodge Loon, the, the Danish guy. Third string is open. You fret the sixth fret with the index and then the middle here. And then. I guess the middle two are open. They're all in the same fret. Alrighty, well I hope that's helpful. Let me know what you think about it.